Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and we're going to be looking at a really cool new product that I was sent over for review purposes. This is the Bionic Bird and I actually caught a YouTube video on like the top five newest gadgets everyone must own and the Bionic Bird was one of them. Uh, after watching the video, I decided to contact the company and ask them if they'd be interested in sending one over so I can fly it for myself, test it out, get used to it, and then show it to you guys. And they were gracious enough to go ahead and do that. So here it is. So as you can tell from the box, it is compatible with both Android and Apple. All you have to do is download a free app onto your device and you can go ahead and start flying the Bionic Bird. Now, one thing I do want to tell you is there is a slight learning curve to it. Um, because there's a lot of things that affect it like wind and trees and things like that. So there are certain optimal uh, conditions to fly in the Bionic Bird. They state that, you know, uh, in a non-windy environment, maybe like inside of a gymnasium or something like that. But um, I didn't have that ability. So I, I will show you towards the end of the video clips of me flying it outside. I try and find uh, a nice open area to do so. And you know, you, you'll see how it works. So this is the box that it comes with. And as you open it up, you see all the different things that it comes with. So this is a nice presentation. You have a nice felt lining to it here. So I'll go ahead and show you guys some of the different things that come with it. So you take this little piece out and inside is the Bionic Bird. So here it is. It is very, very lightweight, um, which is an understatement. I mean, this thing is so light and that's why they state that, you know, um, there's different factors that will affect it like wind and stuff like that. The wings are very, very light, um, but, but they are pretty sturdy. Um, I can tell you, I got this caught in a tree a couple times and I was able to get it down and the, the wings definitely held up. So you have this uh, kind of styrofoam body, which is makes it real light. And then you have your little engine in there. You have your antenna at the top right here, and then you have your on and off switch. And then your tail right here, which is articulating, so you can actually move it up or down. So depending on how you want the bionic bird to fly, that's how it works. Underneath, you just have your um, portion right here, which will attach to the charger, so you can go ahead and charge it. And that's pretty much it. So that is the bionic bird. Besides that, you have a couple of accessories, uh, starting from left to right. Right here, you have this little brush, and this is nice because basically what this is, is so you can brush those contacts underneath the Bionic Bird and the contacts on the charger so that um, you get a positive contact when you're charging it. So it's cool that they include that. Then you have this egg right here, and the egg is actually the charger, and that's really, really cool. So you have the two little magnetic prongs right here, which attach onto the Bionic Bird underneath. And then on the bottom, you have a little um, power button, so as you power it as you guys can see it is glowing blue so that means there's power to it and then on the side right here you have where you would plug in your charger now the egg is basically a um even though it is a charging cradle for it it has a built-in battery so it is like a power bank so it has i believe the ability to recharge the uh, bionic bird around 12 times 10 or 12 times something like that uh, it takes about 90 minutes to fully charge the egg, and then it takes about 12 minutes to fully charge the Bionic Bird from a dead battery. So that is really cool because you can go ahead and, you know, take the egg with you and take the Bionic Bird, and that's pretty much it. And then as you're out there flying and stuff like that, you just set it on there, and 12 minutes later, it's good to go. It gives you anywhere from 8 to 10 minutes of flight time also, depending on, you know, how many tricks and stuff like that you're doing with it. So that is the egg there. On the bottom here, you have just a couple of spare wings, and that's really cool that they do include that because again they are nice and thin they are kind of flimsy but uh, for the most part like I said I got it cut up in a couple of trees sometimes and it held up me you know kind of poking it with a branch and stuff like that and then right underneath here you have a couple more things the first one is this little card here and in the back it has a code where you can down you know um, download there the uh, manual if you want to go ahead and um, you know get the manual for the Bionic Bird then you have this little sleeve right here, which inside you have a couple little weights that you can actually attach to the wings. Um, so if you see that it's not flying correctly or something like that, you can level it off by using those. And then just the charger for your egg. Again, this is the little plug that goes into the egg and then it is a uh, USB type A. So you can connect it either to a computer or to a power brick or something like that and go ahead and charge up your egg. So, so that's it. That is all the accessories that come with the Bionic Bird. Let me go ahead and show it to you guys again. 
um, there it is. It is really cool. It's a lot of fun to fly it. Again, it does have um, a little bit of a learning curve to it, but for the most part, once you get used to it, you can just uh, get out there and fly it, and it's a lot of fun. So, all right, so I wanted to show you guys a little bit about how the app actually works. I have the Bionic Bird charging on the egg right now, and it's telling me it's charging by flashing blue like that. Once it becomes steady blue, it means that it's fully charged. So I went ahead and downloaded the app on my iPod Touch here. There it is. It is called the Flying App. So uh, once you launch it, the first time that you do, it's actually going to guide you through a tutorial onto uh, different things about the Bionic Bird. And then you'll go to this screen right here. It's called the Nest. This is where you do a couple different selections. The first one is going to be a mode selection. That's going to be how you want to actually control the Bionic Bird. So you have two different modes and four total options. The first mode is going to be intuitive, as you guys see there. And then on the left here, you can either choose easy, and that's going to be you're going to use your thumb to tr throttle back and forth on the wings as far as how fast they flap. And then by tilting the actual device is how you control the Bionic Bird. The second option is steering wheel, which is basically the same thing just in a landscape orientation. So the other mode is joystick, and that's going to give you two options also. So you you're going to have a one finger option. So it looks similar to the um, easy option. The, the only difference is as opposed to turning the phone itself, you will actually uh, move your thumb left or right depending on where you want the Bionic Bird to fly. And then the other option is Classic RC, which is also a landscape orientation, but that's where one side is gonna control the throttle on the wings, and then the other side is gonna control whether it turns left or right. Besides that, you have a couple more options down here. So you have a manual and a guide that you can go into and look. Then uh, you're, you're gonna need to name the bird because it is controlled via Bluetooth, so it's gonna have to be able to find it. So once you name the bird, um, you can use this option right here. It says find bird and then it'll, it'll connect with the bionic bird. So what I'll do now is I know it's not done charging, but I'll take it off so you guys can see uh, and then turn off the egg so you guys can see how that works. So I'll turn on the bionic bird right there. And I don't know if you guys can tell the little blue LED is flashing. So I'll go ahead and choose the easy mode here. But as you guys can tell right there, it says no bird. So what I'm going to do is go back to the nest. There you go. And I'm going to put find bird and there it is. I named my bird Nemo. So I can go ahead and select that and then I can go back into the easy mode and now I'm ready to, to start flying. So with this one, um, you have the ability to throttle the wings up and down by using your thumb. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how it works. So as you guys can see, the, the higher I go, the faster the wings flap. But as soon as I let go of it, they stop. Now you do have an option down here that says cruise control. If you turn that on, you can go ahead and start up the wings, but if you let go of your thumb, it'll actually stay on. Okay, so you do have a lot of different options and customizability when you do that. And I wanted to show you guys, as you guys can see right there, I don't know if you guys can make the arrows, see how they're filling in. That means that it's turning and it's telling the Bionic Bird to turn that way. And let me see if you guys can make out the wings. I'll bring up the tail so you guys can see it. This portion right here, when I turn it, is if I go this way, it'll turn left. If I go this way, it'll turn right. I don't know if you guys can make it out, but that's how you're controlling the bird when it's actually up and flying. So what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and roll in the clips of me flying it outside so you guys can tell um, how it works and things like that.
All right, so I hope you were able to appreciate how much fun it is to fly the Bionic Bird. Obviously, the best scenario is to have a nice open field where it's not going to be crashing into anything. As you guys saw there, I did have that one tree in the middle that I always have to kind of um, go around and make sure that it doesn't get stuck. And then some trees on the side, which I did get stuck up on a tree. But for the most part, you know, once you get the hang of it, you can fly around them and stuff like that. Yes, there is a slight learning curve at first. You know, it is going to fly and then fall and stuff like that. But for the most part, you know, it's 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 a really fun gadget to have i mean it's really cool um obviously keep an eye on to make sure that everything is nice and leveled you do have those extra little um weights that you can put on the wings if you find that it's not leveled and then obviously the different mode selections i find that the intuitive one where i can just turn my phone left or right um, works best for me but if you guys do have some experience with the other ones like the rc because you fly in helicopters and stuff like that then you have the ability to go ahead and use that also uh, it gives you anywhere from eight to ten minutes of flight and it takes about 12 minutes to fully charge which is awesome so you know you can easily get out there and fly for you know an hour an hour and a half and you know have a lot of fun with it so what i'll do is i'll leave a link below to the website if you guys want some more information uh, or if you guys want to go ahead and purchase one for yourselves uh, let me know if you guys have any questions thanks